chunky moth. <sighs> Hello everyone, hope you're having a fantastic day and welcome to Moth House. I don't think it's going to be the kind of moth house that you guys may enjoy, aka chunky moth waifus. It's going to be the horror kind. Oh, it's a lot of moths apparently, or as the game store page puts it, and by the way, it's made by Ken Forrest. I just thought to throw that out there. Ken Forrest, the one who made Wheat Harvest Paradox, Please Don't Litter, LiDAR.exe, in the toilet rooms, let's say. And now we have Moth House. There's three different endings I have to get. Uh, 25 types of moths. So there's just not one moth, 25 different types. So if you like chunky moths, you just might find one. We're going to get into it and just see what it's about. Ah. Dear son, I hope this letter finds you well. I'm writing to inform you that I am leaving far from here on an expedition. Unfortunately, I can't provide a location. I know this may come as a surprise to you, but please understand that this decision was not an easy one. If in a year you do not receive a letter from me, it means that I will not return. I hope that this will not happen, but if I still do not get in touch, then I have a request to you. An attached, in the attached letter, there's a list with species of moths. Come to my house and catch at least one of each species and then let them out of the house. But it's better if you free them all. With all of my love, your dad. You know, all of them. But you want me to, you want me to play... I don't need to go back. Well, I guess I can't go back. Alright, so we gotta... Just a lighter, or sorry, a match. Interesting. Where is my net? Oh, oh. A white witch moth. Look at all those moths. Wow. People. Well, wait, my my lighter or my match. My match. Use. I got to keep moving. I didn't think my light. I keep thinking. I was saying lighter. Ooh, little little moths. Um, but no, like, use the mouse wheel to change the- oh, change the item. Ah, uh, okay, well. Use tab to open the backpack. So you want me up? I'll just- I think- oh. oh, he just pulls out another one. Okay, that's good. Any more moths? I got- holy crap, this is a lot. 15 and 10. Okay, that sounds like a solid number. I don't think I went by it. Wait, but was there any stuck in the webbing? Any need saving? <laughs> I'm going to assume, yeah, then maybe no moths collected, all moths collected, and, uh, just, uh, can I just... I'm going to collect you all, buddies. I'm going to get you all. I'm going to free all you chunky moths. I don't know why there has to be so... Ooh, Chunky ones, small ones, fluttery ones, tiny ones. As long as they don't accidentally step on any, of course. There could be a really elusive one somewhere. Like you! Don't worry, I'm super observant. And you! You can't get away from my sight. I have good vision. Wait, where? Uh, 64... 68 and 44! One oh my god, there's so many. Bro, they just keep they just keep showing up. Is that noise meaning there's a moth somewhere though? I wanna be extra observant, hang on. Oh. Hmm. Like they're definitely gonna be like in a bunch of closets nibbling some of the uh clothing probably. Radio frequencies. Huh. Moths emit ultrasound as a way of communicating with other moths and detecting their environment. This uh, ultrasound is typically measured in kilohertz with the average value of around 3060. The moth produces the ultrasound by vibrating special organs in its body called timbles. Uh. Interestingly, there are devices called bat detectors that can capture these ultrasounds, which can help in the monitoring moth populations and their behavior. This is because <coughs> bats... Which are natural predators. Moths also use ultrasound to locate their prey. Cool. 
Okay, so... It'll tell me if there's a moth definitely nearby. Like, this is going up to 40, for instance. I'm pretty sure there'd be more moths here. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'll look around. Just give me a sec. I want to clean this entire hallway so I don't have to come back. But it's, like, definitely dead here. You can tell just by the... It being just 20. So that means there definitely is a little bastard or couple that are just roaming around this area that refuse to go away. So I'm just going to swing everywhere, like right there, in the walls and everything, until they disappear. Alright, I got a bunch of exact numbers. I definitely got them through the walls. To be an absolute purist, yeah, we're going to have to, like, pull this out, just like it's, um, was it Viscera Cleanup Crew kind of game? Definitely going to have to do that. Uh, oh, to put out a match, cool. Okay, definitely, oh, there's a lot here to catch. And that duck! So many moths. So many moths. Chunky moths. Large moths. And again, it's just going to take forever to capture them all. Moths are pretty, though. I don't know why people would be scared of moths. Like, seriously, they are fluffy. And they don't even bite. They just love lamp. They just, all they want is a lamp. That's all they want. And people somehow find a way of getting scared by them. I don't know, it doesn't make sense to me. Let's see. If I look at the thing, we can say there's still moths. So I'm going to start swinging everywhere. Like right there. As soon as I'm done capturing the moths, I'll be a purist and do this. And if there's no more, then I can move on. But if there's some, I'll, then I'll just probably skip ahead kind of stuff. You know, these, these moths love the cereal and milk. Like, how- I- we're gonna have to, like, count the total to see how many moths are in this house. A crowbar! Uh, the Luna Moth is a species of moth found in North America. It is known for its striking appearance with large, pale green wings that have distinctive shape and pattern. The wingspan of the Luna Moth can reach up to 11 centimeters, making it one of the largest moths in North America. The caterpillars of this species are also quite striking, with bright green bodies, long spiny tails. The Luna Moth is primarily active at night and feeds on the nectar of flowers. So it's trying to tell me I should look at flowers maybe sometimes. And there are also no moths here. Or is it like one big chunky moth somewhere? Or is it you? Why am I hearing moths? Hmm. Like, wait, cook? I'm gonna have to like, tra like cook some kind of food for an elusive moth at some point? Hmm. Wait. Hmm. We can just go to this room. Let's, ch let's check it out. This person's obsession with the moths, so seriously. Oh, wait. 80? But... Must be in the room ahead. This... Oh, it's locked. It goes up to 69. That must be one giant moth. Hmm. Alright, well, we'll go this way first, then. Um... Ah. Ooh, what are you? I got three of those. The Creat Creatonatos... Gengi, Gang, Genghis moth? How can I fit that many? Oh, they're, they're just happily squirming in a jar. Oh, you too. You too. And you. And you. And. On the ceiling. You gotta be as thorough as I am. There's still some more, though. That's. I don't trust how loud that noise is, though. And, oh, oh, and... I'm still getting signs, but... 150! There has to be some kind of, like, giant Mothman in this game, like... Absolutely. Don't get me wrong, there's definitely gonna be something spooky. Need a key, alright. We don't have much of a choice then. What is in here? Besides possible Mothman. I need to clean up these moths. This 
There's too many of them. Giant! Can that one attack me? Or is that just a... Is that just the Luna? I get a feeling... No, don't go out at that timing. Ah, oh, bruh. There's just so many. Uh, I, I just don't know if, like, that chunky one is one I should avoid. Like, you know, if it might be able to attack due to its size or not. No idea. We'll see. We'll see, like, how we can also run away from them if we can. It's gonna be trouble. Otherwise... Oh. We still got some more moths. Damn. Oh, we're on the pizza. Hm? No, get over here! No, that... That is way too big! No, 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 that is... That is no way, that... No, there's no way I can capture that one. Absolutely no way. Okay. You're gonna have to avoid that one. Especially... Ugh. I highly doubt it's gonna fit in my net. I am being cautious about that one. So I'm supposed to get all the moths while avoiding maybe that one. Or supposed to maybe act- oh, the recipe. Wait, 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 the recipe. What is that recipe? We'll check it out. Probably the only way to get the best ending, we have to cook... Cook a meal. Oh, not enough ingredients. It's either, there's probably going to be one ending where I have to use some moths to cook the recipe, but killing the moths is obviously going to be possibly perceived as bad, but I'm going to assume it's a way of attracting and maybe poisoning or just simply attracting the big one so it's capturable. You got to like incapacitate it, let's so think. That's at least what I'm thinking ahead of time. The Crea tonatos sangus gengus moth is a species of moth found in Southeast Asia, Australia, and parts of Africa. It is known for its distinctive appearance with brightly colored uh, hind wings that are covered in long, fluffy hair like structures called cor uh, cormita. Or cormata? The cormata are used by male moths to release pheromones that attract females for mating. The moth is also notable for its ability to vary the size and shape of its uh, cormata in response to environment and social factors which may play a role in mate selection and competition. Get me over here. They just keep coming back. Alright. They should... Wait. 96! Ugh. Disgusting. Ugh. I don't know if I got other moths, but I'll hope I did. There's just too many. Oh my... Seriously. How big is this house? I'll, like, just speed this up so you'll need see the... Every time I go here now, I'm gonna speed up the collection. Okay. And another recipe. I don't know what they're about, though. I don't think the giant fruit fly goes in the room, so they're kind of safety from the hallways. Hi, Paul. It turns out the lingua moths has many abilities besides speaking human language. They're capable of something, so I have to report that I'm going to somewhere. I'm not sure uh, if it'd be uh, if I'll be back from there, but in the name of science, I have to check it out. I grow new types of moths in the basement. I hope that while I'm away, the house will not rot from a large number of different moths, just in case I'll block the entrance if something happens, then something. Okay. A little, uh... 
suspicious, if you ask me, but okay. Ah, uh, even the stairs. No. No. Ugh. Don't like that. There is a ton of places! I already got like over 200. This is going on forever. Maybe instead of speeding up, I'll do some speeding up. I'm gonna have to just like skip ahead. Or else this video's gonna last forever. Oh god. No! It's definitely chasing me! Gross. Okay, we're gonna have to check the recipes. I am still confused. I'm gonna assume one of the endings maybe is like just literally cooking all of them. Recipes. Not enough ingredients. Cook. Why cook? Cook what? What is this for? Alright, let's check out the basement. Hopefully we won't just die from something. Safe recipe. Bro, there's a billion in here too. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, there's a billion moths down here. And the big moth comes down here, but this is like a treasure trove. But no, seriously, am I genuinely meant to collect every single moth just for one of the endings? I wouldn't think it's oh, far-fetched, but... Oh, there's just so many! Uh, I'll showcase, though, like, new moths, different moths, scary moth moments, or things like that nature, but my god... Uh, 42, 35, 407 of the dagger moth. 300, we, uh, we have a lot. That is a lot of moths. And I'm still going. But, I still don't feel like I'm even close to cleaning this entire area. This has to be like some kind of chamber for me to put this stuff in. Oh, key. There has to be some kind of like chamber or secret or something. For me to put, like, maybe the food. I'm supposed to, like, put different types of food to feed the big moth. Either to make it evolve or to be able to catch it. I don't know the intent yet. But. Meh. Let's try to hopefully clean up the basement. Or, uh, sorry, this attic area. In a truly astonishing discovery, Mason Hart, the well-known moth collector, has discovered a new species of moth that can speak human language. Mr. Hart, who has been collect uh, collecting and studying moths for many years, made the discovery while on a collecting trip in the Amazon rainforest, of all places, of course. The moth, which has a unique wing pattern and body structure, was observed by Mr. Hart communicating in English. How? Who taught the moth English? This incredible discovery has sent shockwaves through the scientific community and has opened up a new possibility for communication with other species. Mr. Hart has named the new species Lingua Moth and has pledged to continue studying and protecting this remarkable species. Oh, sure, sure. And it's just, it's such a scientific breakthrough that it's, it just has to be locked up in an abandoned house. And, uh, it's just angrily flying everywhere. Alright, well, I'm done with that. I'll have to figure out at the end of it if it is cooking related. And... Wasn't this the door that was locked? Oh, it was. Okay, well, we're, we're heading in there last. So there was the other door. Over here. Okay, I don't have the key for that. I, I cleaned out the entire first area. It's been 40 minutes. And I still don't know what the hell is with the pot. Oh. Um... Uh, oh. 
That's as that a big moth. Um, a, t a talk. Oh, um. Hello, human. I'm the Moth King's helper. You see, the king can't speak like a human, unlike me. I know the human language, and I can also translate from the language of moths. Our master has disappeared from this house, and the Moth King is hungry. Wait, what? Our master has disappeared, and the Moth King is hungry. He is already tired of eating little moths flying bypassed him once he even almost ate me. The king needs to be fed urgently and with normal food. He needs soup. Moth soup. There are many types of moths and if you mix them properly you'll make a great soup. Please make soup and feed the moth king. Okay. Well, try this one. Thanks, but one pot of soup isn't enough for a king. Make more soup. Uh, okay. Also, I don't know if the king liked the soup, so it's better. So it's better. Will if it'd be better? Wait, what? So it's better if you make soup from other ingredients. I don't know which one I made. Is it like? Will it be like? Let's see. I think that's the one I cooked last time. Because they don't. Ooh, what about this one? The one, 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 one. We'll try that out. Try this one out, Mr. King. Thank you, but the king has not eaten soup for a long time, and two pots of soup is not enough. So make another batch of soup. I think he'll have enough. Huh? I mean... Does it matter which type I feed him? Because this one is still like that. Um... I'm pretty sure the first one was that ingredient. More than likely. Oh, not enough ingredients for this one. This looks like it'd be the best one. I'll feed him one of each. But don't have enough ingredients. Seems like a little off. Thank you for feeding the Moth King. However, he says that your soups were terrible and he would have been better off starving. Well, I don't want to do this, but I have to follow the King's orders. The Moth King says you killed moths for nothing to make those awful soups. He wants to drive you to Moth Hell. Moth Hell is a terrible place for moths, but not only for moths... Uh, wait, but not only moths get there but people too for example our owner got there on this we will have to part i'm sorry but there is no choice so goodbye bruh well okay I, I fed him bad soups you didn't tell me which soup is your favorite so it's entirely based i gotta see what i can do with that flying moth then all right it probably can't attack me like, I got the bad ending immediately, even though I spent 44 minutes, or, like, 40 minutes, basically getting so many moths, all for nothing. There's that one soup, though, that had, like, I didn't say I had enough ingredients, I already had used it. Like, all the others for, apparently, the shit ingredients. Bruh. They said all the soup sucked. And there's that door that was stuck on the right that I just didn't even... Like, I legit cleaned the entire house. Apparently, I used the wrong soup. So... I'll have to... Hmm. It looked like there's one soup it d was fine with. The second soup I think it was fine with. But the third one and the first one sounded like he disliked them all. Oh, oh boy. Okay, so... Alright, well, looks like I will be, uh, doing this again. God damn. And trying to find out which soups they do, in fact, like, I guess. Alright, I'll make that soup, and it better be a good one, I swear to God. Thanks, but one pot of soup isn't enough. Also, I don't know if the king liked this soup. Bruh, what soups does he like? Honestly, I looked and it looked as if they... What types of soups you give them influence the endings. But I was looking at other people's videos just as a reference. There is, like, not really any information I know of. And I'm missing the white witch moth. So I need more of those. White witch moth. Those seem rare, apparently. 
All right, let's see if he enjoys this. If not, and I have to replay it a third time. My God. Thank you for feeding him. However, he says that your soups were terrible. Uh, seriously? Bruh. Bruh. I have to do this again? I think it was like... I, I looked at someone else's videos just in case. and the, Someone used like the one of every type. In, even though the moth the moth king doesn't tell you what he likes and dislikes, he always says the same thing until the very end. So apparently, I'm going to moth hell again. At least I'll know what I'll just copy what other someone else had done in their videos because uh, I gave him like top quality shit. The one 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 one, you have to feed him twice. Like there's there's a combination you're supposed to do apparently. Even though like the soups I gave him. Like, I, I used one that used... Oh, I can't even remember. There's a white moth type where as soon as I made the pot of soup once, there was no other white moth, so I couldn't even make the, the soup with one of every moth type because they're all used up. So let me redo this, get the other ending, because I got the bad ending twice now, which is mildly fucking annoying. Like... The Moth King says the exact same thing for the first, second, and third time, unless you do the right combination. But there's no indication, I don't think, in the game of what is the right combination. Uh, unless I'm just wrong and I... Because I swear to god, I haven't... Unless it's like some of the Moth... The Moth trivia pamphlets, like, maybe it mentions which Moths just weirdly taste good and I ignored it. But otherwise, uh, it's just... it's kind of annoying. All right, so the first thing we'll make... Wait, not enough ingredients! I still need... All right, we need to make these this twice, and then... This one. I don't know why... But it just is. But apparently I need... The Creatonitas... Oh, Genghis North. Maybe it's in the basement. I swear I've gone in every single room and caught them... Weird. All right. Oh, I think I remember where that one was I needed. It's just the ones in the bathroom. So to make it the necessary soups, you do need to basically get the library ones and these ones. Yeah, these are the ones. And they are limited. Maybe that is the hint in itself that you need these. And there's only 15 of each. Not oh, 13. There has to be more. More? one. And there we go. 15 of the white witch moths and 15 of the Genghis moth. But if you make the soups that like get rid of them all together in one batch, you're screwed. So, whatever. Apparently this is good enough. I, I'm not sure what warrants good soup because again, if... if need a key. I didn't get the key? Alright, be here be. All right, so the first one again, one, 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 one of everything, and he'll say one's not enough, and they, it, I don't know if the, he liked this soup, so it's better if you make something from different ingredients. Like, they, they really, really should make it so he at least says something different. It's so misleading, but we'll cook this one again, and then he'll say two is not enough. Like, maybe we'll know if he likes it based on how long the slurping sound is versus not. Let's make another and it'll be worth it. I swear to god, if he says he doesn't like it after I give the third soup. So you could cook another one of those, maybe it'd work. But just because I saw another person make that soup afterwards because they didn't have enough ingredients and it was okay for a good ending, I'm going with that. Don't care. Thank you so much for feeding this Moth King. He really liked your soups. So he has powers, and we can finally leave this old house and find yourself another place where there is normal food. I was glad to meet you, but we have to go. Goodbye. There we go. That's all I wanted. And the last thing is just leave, which is obvious, but it's probably after meeting the Moth King, so that'll be easy enough. Get the key, see the king, run. That is a giant moth. I can only imagine how much powder is going to like go off its wings. Okay, we got the supposedly good ending, where it flies away.
and just maybe never disturbs anyone ever again. But he did send innocent people to moth hell, so I mean, I, I guess we, we can't... We, we can't put them in moth prison, I guess. Alright, well, having just talked to the Moth King, and having captured zero moths, we're just getting out of here. I'll presume I can just do that. We're leaving the moths all alone to their moth house, or they can just congregate forever. And we're just getting out of here. Probably took too long, though. Wait, I don't need to go back! Why not? I saw a Moth King... Uh, what? Why not? Why can't I leave yet? Maybe I have to get captured once. And then be like, okay, screw this, man. I got captured by a moth, put in a cocoon. I'm leaving. I'll try that. Chunky moth. Why? I got captured and put in a moth egg sack. And you're saying you don't want me to leave still? the hell do I need to do for the leave ending? You you saw a giant moth king. A moth that can... Uh, like, what, what's the uh, my objective, mind you? Is, do I have to leave after capturing moths? Do I have to capture moths? Oral moths? What do I need to do and then leave? Wait, there's something I could have eaten? I, I didn't think... There's actually an interactable there. Weird. Didn't see that. Let's see if I can escape now. I read everything. I read all the notes. I gathered the recipes. And I also grabbed one of each moth. Finally. Okay. I'm not sure how much or what I need to do, what I need to grab, or how many moths I need to catch. But I clearly just can't leave after seeing the Moth King or being captured even by a gigantic moth, which I find kind of weird. But whatever. We gathered a bunch to let loose, just as promised. How much? Maybe it's like you have to collect 100 total or something like that as a prerequisite. Don't know. But we got the leave ending. We released some moths into the rain. Probably to get eaten by a bunch of owls and bats. But yeah, there we go. That is the moth house. A little bit long. At least to me because I've been playing well over an hour. Only because three endings... And me actually being thorough that one time, taking the quest literally of, Could you please capture them all and let them go? And I'm just like, yeah, okay, fine. And I capture like 2,000 moths, only to like lose it all because I get the bad ending. Because I cooked the moth, a bad recipe. My criticism would be the lack of information regarding what is good soup and what isn't good soup. Because unless I am completely somehow wrong, but I'm not thinking so. The Moth King, as I said before, says the exact same thing regardless of the soup you give him. So unless it's his slurping noise, and I don't know if it's true or not, because I'm not replaying to listen to me making deliberately bad soups and listen to the slurping sound, it feels like it's impossible to know except through trial and error what soups are good and aren't good. And you can mess it up over and over and over. And I don't know what is what the indication is of what is good soup so you can get the good ending. If there's some kind of audio or a message somewhere I just simply overlooked... And if not, then my criticism remains of... What the hell do you do to make good soups, and how do you know if it's a good soup? For you to get good and bad, besides me having to look up what another person did to get the good ending. Because the soups I made were bad, but the guy says it's bad soup on the first and third attempt anyways. Or he, he just says the exact same thing a first and second time, regardless of the soup, so it doesn't really help you. There's no message or indication. It's kind of annoying. So it took way longer for me, at the very least, but... Nah, I mean, this means a lot to a lot of editing. <laughs> but if you enjoyed the Moth House for the moths and the memes, then hey, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a flow subscriber, hit the notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching. Until the next time. Arrgh.